Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super throwing! And today, Nano Nano Girl has offered once again to be part of our experiment. So I'm thinking we need to use everything that we've learned so far to work out how to fire Nano Nano Girl as far as we can see so that she can really get places quickly. Imagine sending a small superhero flying towards a bunny. That would make them run for sure. Nano Nano Girl is very kind of you to offer to do this for no cookies. Wait, what's that? Ah, oh, she said, don't remind me. Well, we better get started before she changes her mind. Okay, let's recap. This week, we have talked a lot about levers and how they add power to a throw by increasing the force of the throw. We know that we can do this by changing the length of a lever. So I think that the last step in us building our super powered throwing machine is to put everything that we know about throwing and projectiles together and add one more element to really power up our throw. We're going to make an even bigger catapult and we're going to add more energy to it so that it can throw even further. When we stretch out an elastic band, we build up a supply of elastic potential energy. Now, when we release that elastic band, this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy, which is movement. I think that adding the kinetic energy of an elastic band to what we know about levers might actually increase the power of our throat. For this experiment, you will need some thick cardboard, three wooden skewers, a bottle cap, projectile of choice, I just have some little foil balls here, blue tech, scissors, pencil, ruler, sticky tape, an elastic band, and a little scrap of paper. Start by measuring and drawing a large rectangle out of stiff card. Mine is 32 centimeters long and 17 centimeters wide. Cut this out. Now we're gonna make a triangle shaped base for our catapult. So we need to divide this rectangle into three equal sections with a two centimeter tab at the end to help us hold it all together. So if my piece of card is 32 centimeters long, that means I need three 10 centimeter sections with a two centimeter tab left over. There's my two centimeter and my 10 centimeters here. So now we're going to make a mark and draw down those lines. Okay, now I'm gonna score against those lines. We've done this before. Remember, be careful, but you're gonna use the blade of your scissors to make a score mark against these lines. This is gonna help us to fold the card exactly where we need to. Now you're gonna fold backwards so that your score is on the outside, like this. And you should see when you bring them together, you have a triangle shape. So we're gonna take this shape together. Next, we're gonna measure the location for some holes, and these will hold our skewers later up. So decide which end is the top of your catapult and label it top so you don't forget. Your front face is the opposite one to your sticky tape. So that's this one. We'll label it front. This will help us keep track of things as we go. On each of the two back sides, we want a hole that's two centimeters in from the front edge and one centimeter down from the top. And then we'll do the same on the opposite side, so the one that isn't called front. So there you go, you should have one dot here and one dot here. Now we always measure twice and cut once, or in this case, poke one, so double check your measurements, and then you're gonna poke with your skewer hole through each of these dots. Now, at the bottom, we also want a hole that's two centimeters in from the front, but this time three centimeters up from the base. Okay, and we'll do that on its opposite side. Now we're gonna use our skewer to poke a hole through there. And so you should have two holes on opposite sides, like this. Next, we want to make space for our lever to pull back. And so to do that, we're gonna cut away some of our triangle. Start at the back edge, this line here, and you're going to find eight centimeters down from the top of this line. It's probably the one that you've put tape on. And then go five centimeters either side. So you're gonna have your two five centimeter lines coming off here. Continue those lines up 
for the top and then color in that rectangle and you're gonna cut out these rectangles. So there you go, you pull out your two rectangles. One of them would have the tab on it. We're gonna put those away for now. We'll come back to those later. And now we have a nice window here. So it's time to make our lever arm. To do this, we want to secure two skewers in parallel next to each other, about two centimeters apart. Now to do this, what we should do is actually take one of our card strips that we cut off and measure it to be two centimeters wide and five centimeters long. Now move the card to the end of the skewers that have the points like this and you're gonna secure it in place with some tape. Okay, now make another strip of card with the same dimensions. Remember, it was five centimeters by two centimeters. And this one you're gonna tape about halfway along. This is gonna give us good rigidity in our system. Now we need to make a small paper straw to act as a bearing. You've done this lots of times before. Remember how to do this? We're gonna roll a narrow strip of paper I'm gonna roll it around a skewer to make it as small as possible. And then you're gonna tape it in place. Okay, so we want to tape this about one and a half centimeters in from the bottom end of our skewers. And then make sure that it's nice and straight. And when it's straight, you can trim the edges so it's neat and tidy. Finally, we're gonna need our projectile holder. I'm gonna use some blue tack to stick a bottle cap to a square of card and I'm gonna stick that square of card onto the top of my two skewers. Here we go, and put your blue tack and your projectile holder or your bottle cap on top. Now it's time to put it all together. So we're gonna make two 13 centimeter beams from one of our skewers. Remember how to do this? We're gonna measure 13 centimeters and then we're gonna score it with our scissors and then we're gonna break it like this. Take one of your beams and put it through the bottom hole. And then you're gonna put it through your bearing here, like so, and then out of the hole on the other side, like that. Next, you wanna pull this down and put your wooden skewer through the top hole. Take your rubber band, put it through the middle, and then Take the wooden skewer and push it out of the other side, like so. Finally, you want to make a hole about two centimeters down in the middle of the front part of your cat box system. Make a hole there that's big enough to put the rubber band through. And then feed the rubber band through from the skewer through the front. Now you're gonna pull this rubber band forwards and you're gonna put it over the top of your bottle cap and down here so it sits like this on the back of your skewers. So this is our catapult arm. Okay, now we are ready to test. As we pull the catapult arm back, the elastic band stores the potential energy and it converts it to kinetic energy when we let it go, which should release our projectile and fling it forwards. We should first do some target practice though. So why don't you set up some skittles by rolling some paper tubes and putting them at the opposite side of your room. I've got some here and you can make yours in whatever color that you like. Now, for the moment of truth. Do you think we can send Nano Nano Girl flying way into the distance or over the castle walls to get to the baddies? Hey, Nano Nano Girl, are you still willing to do this experiment? She says she'll do it for one cookie. Wait, you said you'd do it for no cookies. <laughs> she says she'll do it for half a cookie. Final offer. Okay, half a cookie it is. Right, let's load you into our super powered, supercharged, super awesome nanopot. Here we go. I'm gonna attach you to one of these little foil balls here. Right, nano nano girl, are you ready? Here we go. What was that? It's scary. Yes, it's scary being a superhero. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, she, she really flew. And um, she's still flying. And um, oh, that was a big crash. Oh no, I hope she's okay. Sorry, Nana Nana girl. 
Well, I've had a lot of fun this week learning all about the science of super throwing and I hope you have too. I'm hoping Nana Nana Girl's going to be happy once she gets her cookie and once I actually get her back. I'd love to see your experience from this week, so please share them with us and show us how far you have been able to throw all of your items. Next week, we'll be learning all about a brand new superhero science power. So I will see you then. Hmm, I should get Nana Nana Girl her cookie, but I reckon I've got plenty of time before she gets back. So I might have another go with the nanopult. Are you ready? Watch out, Nana Nana Girl! <laughs> oh, duck! <laughs> that was pretty fun. Um, might need to get her two cookies by the time she comes back. Okay, I'm gonna keep firing this. I'll see you guys later. Bye.